Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome everyone. My job is to welcome. So welcome. Now Startup Saturday. I happen to attend uh, that Startup Saturday in two months back in Chennai. So uh, then I came to know that it's happening every all the cities all over uh, India. Major cities. Then I then uh, I contacted them and they told us we know we know they also contacted with them and we start up with Kuwaiti. So we know just uh, stand up, we like, know Java yeah. is an advocate and uh, so we know also uh, I have already contacted them. So both of us together and then Pratiksha from Amintrade Technologies and uh, Sanjay Mena from Arte Dynamics. So we all work together and Sanju from the war. We all work together. And uh, we wanted to organize it and yeah, start up village really provided a space for the uh, So startup Saturday, we want to do it every second Saturday from the same time. That's the idea. So hopefully we can make it in every city in Kerala tomorrow later. I may not be there, but you have to take it up and do it. Because entrepreneurs have to come together and interact, interact and of course we will have other people uh, to come here and teach us different topics. But I have a fact advocate uh, Jay Prakash who just joined us and he's a tax expert. So later on in uh, all the other sessions, hopefully we'll hear. So to, to welcome, um, especially I have to welcome two special people. One is Ishaan Kabir, two of our featured entrepreneurs from today. And then uh, Chandu Shashtar. And, uh, so they will be presenting their companies for us. So let us know if you want to present your company in this forum and get feedback. The idea is that we may be able to give suggestions to you on the you know, business plan or ideas product, maybe you can refer clients for you. Maybe you can refer investment. That's the whole idea. So all of us can come together and help each other. Then you know we can build these successful companies around here. We can create jobs here. And uh, you know the future of Kochi will be brighter than what it is. It's already bright, right? I happen to, I just wanted to mention one thing, I happen to attend, uh, my company is actually into shoe, okay, currently in shoe, we are working with developers there. So I happen to attend the Trichur Management Association, uh, their monthly gathering, this was, so there was a talk there, and the talk was about happiness at work, and one Mr. M.K. Ramanujan from Chennai, presenting. So his main point was that, you don't work for happiness. That's what he's saying. So we need one thing we need to keep in mind is that we, we don't work for happiness. Because that means that happiness is not here now. Right? Because we work for something because we don't have it now. So what he says is that you don't work for happiness, you work from happiness. So we be happy and then work. That will be much more productive for us. So that was an inspirational thought that we talked that we gave that day. So we need to be happy, happy being here, happy at work. So we need to smile. That's one of the things that uh, in a few weeks, last week, uh, there was a talk here. And the Indian Ninja Network, their president was here, she was talking. And uh, she was asking us to smile here. So maybe in Kerala people, if, we don't smile enough. We are just probably smiling more, enjoy more, be happy. Not just here, even at our that really at work, then only we become more productive and then we can be a successful company. So on that small note, I will you know, once again welcome all special featured entrepreneurs for the day. Each one of you, we have our 
main guest, uh, who is uh, Shafi Mehta, will be coming joining us a little later. And uh, Dr. Jacob Padakachiri is a famous natural uh, doctor and uh, also has uh, founded many nature life hospitals here. So he's also agreed to come here and uh, address us in the middle of uh, whatever he's doing, especially in focus to adapt to give some focus on the task. He's a social worker, natural physicist, also he has a uh, you know, entrepreneur creating one. As to be able to so he will be doing the facilitation as well. So, so all uh, of them, we you know I extend sincere welcome on behalf of all of you. And let's get started. So our first featured entrepreneur is uh, Ishan Kavi. So let's put our hands together. <laughs> Mistake that we learned. Okay. And what happened was uh, we did not focus on the new styles of gaming, 
so uh, we, uh, we just started off again. Okay? Uh, so we had staff and everything. 12 to 3 started with uh, that day in 2006. And to this 35, uh, Biryani was quite affordable. Uh, Biryani was using long rice, basmati rice, and all those things. Still use the same. So affordability and uh, value at 35 rupees was a good formula. It worked, it went down. Okay? And it was early for Monday to Friday. Then it became Monday to Saturday. Because Sunday we have some of the other wedding to do. So we didn't want to enter the Sunday market, so we have to happy. Then, um, now we sell our chicken candy that is good to do. Now, <coughs> this is in the shop, which is called Jasper candy, which works on our latest Saturday to enter. It works with you. Now, as I said, the importance of cash flow. Again, um, there are times when I went to another restaurant and then uh, before actually ordering a day to person check. In order. But after this, yeah, we already started. It was not making huge money because at 35 rupees you actually don't make money. But other than the young birds of our other child, you can, once some kind of cash flow starts coming in, you are, you are, chakram starts to rotate, you need to come and stuck, you get stuck somewhere. The idea of cash flow is that thing, and I think it costing you cash in the other one. I was not making money, I was not making profits. But I learned one lesson is the art of you know, having hanging around with some little money also. Currency value is very important for any startup because without that you can't run the show. Without having money, your confidence will come down. To have some kind of money has it also a great advantage. That is one more lesson I learned. Okay. And <coughs> then I, uh, from the small shop, I learned one more lesson the importance of uh, small savings. One of my sta staff sitting in the cash sold one lakh rupees. Uh, stole one lakh rupees from my uh, this thing. It's okay. So if somebody who's selling 35 rupees a year, you know, you can imagine what kind of collection he makes. And if he makes one lakh rupees, okay, which was found after one and a half years, he was very selling it. So what he did was <coughs> he used to, you know, uh, assume that is say. We sold 10 pieces of uh, whatever into 50 rupees, 500 rupees. So that was a bit that I, I used to do the thing. Uh, I, since it was small, I used to check all the accounts. So <coughs> we used to count 10 into 50 rupees, 500 rupees. Okay, so he used to always check the way of how I count. The 10 into 50. So I was just looking, these figures are right or wrong. And then there's this amount uh, of oil where you check. But you have to pay Then I do it. So he always used to sit and look at it. He yeah, understood one major mistake which I used to do. It was my fault. I never used to count to this figure. A plus B plus C plus D is never counted. I used to multiply and check whether the multiplication is right, check whether the uh, count of oil is right. Okay. So everything is right. So, and he also knows this figure is expected to be around this much, but 5,000 around it will come. So uh, he would only check, I would only check whether it is around this figure. But uh, if it is 3000, then I will definitely ask why it is 3000. So he understood the game of uh, this, uh, how you calculate the order. So one lesson I learned from that is never show or never uh, no, show anybody else the way you do your verifications. Because we have a pattern of doing it. Everybody has a pattern of doing it. So somebody else gets it, then they know this is a fraudulent aspect. So they never do that. One. Two, inspection should always be done. Without a pattern. If you have, if you have a pattern of checking, going to your office, checking the staff uh, accommodation on every Wednesday, and they know this guy is going to come on Wednesdays, never do it. So that's one mistake, one lesson that I learned. Even more important lesson that I learned from that one life would be store was if you say three hundred rupees every single day of your life, in one year you become one like eight thousand. How did you find out? How did you, how did you find I, out? I, I didn't find it out. Uh, since it was going a little out of my control, I appointed an <coughs> accountant oh. to do all the verifications. Yeah. So, uh, because he, see, it's a very easy, it's, it's, a, it's an intelligent method of cheating. Yeah. Everything is correct. Okay. A, B, C, D, F, G is also around 5,325 kilos, which is around this figure. So, he used to take 200 rupees. Cannot be found, which we don't actually know whether what you have given and we count the figure. Okay, so he is written 5200 and 5200 is their cash. 
But actually, if you count all these figures, you will not get 5,200. It will be 5,000. Uh, it will be more. It will, the figure will be more, but what in hand will be lesser. So that kind of a intelligent because he knew how I do the. Uh, they never change your pattern in one two years. Huh? They never change your pattern in two years. No, because he knows what I check. He knows what besides just just check this much, just check the counter point. That's what you also do because you know you are expecting to calculate this because you will reach this figure at the end of the day. That is what you know. Around say five thousand. So you know. Now things have changed. Like we do it on a small or an exercise or tablet for us. That is the difference between the IT guys. Now IT guys. We can't do anything on the on the on. So see those tall boys. Okay, so coming back. Yeah, okay. Uh, so uh, one mistake I found out. Then uh, so uh, I started uh, the small series to get it work. So. The channel learning that I made start uh, start saving a, a small uh, rupee a day and find a huge amount. And when you get that money back, you will be really happy. Then okay, this this outlet called Destiny is really, really good. <coughs> so the next three is outlets: Kapita, Kanpuria, and then this big big baron of the world. Then I started several outlets in the city. So I then started out in search of a place. Where can I start a good place, location, the parking, that this? Uh, so then I finally found out a place which is behind the high court of Kerala. Okay, so it's near the high court. People can come. Address is good. Behind the high court, everybody can come. Uh, okay, so the location was brilliant. Access is great. We have car park, but I feel miserable. I tell you why. See, lesson one I learned from this. The real estate rates in Kochi is not proportional to the population of Kochi. I mean, I have I have been charged one lakh rupees for a particular shop of say thousand square feet. Uh, it should have at least this much of population moving through this uh, road or something, for which the Kochi has not still not grown up to that level. Okay. But the rates are very high. The proportionate for people who are in the city is lesser. And the pattern of the city is also different. So we can't expect something what happens in Bangalore or the kind of you know the energy to come here, it will not happen. But yeah, the totally different uh, uh, retailing formats. Okay. Another lesson that I learned is uh, which is really very important, the uh, branding one of the lessons which you have learned. Uh, in Hindi they say Jo Dikta hai wo Bikta hai. And if you have a kind of value rules. Like a marketing or lessons in a budget. Okay. When if you see Parayamma, my outlet is exactly behind High Court. Okay. Prime location. But if you don't see it, nobody will go. That's another logic which I learned. So you have to go and another experience that I can tell you while I was working in Chennai, they will keep this fruits, uh, cut fruits open. There is this uh, and there's a lot of uh, houseflies coming in sitting there and they have four tenants. How can you keep it like this? And the first question that he asked is, you stop here because you saw this. And whatever I'm giving you is kept inside. If you hadn't seen this, you would not have bought it. So the, uh, the, the bottom line is, you have to make your product, your brand, whatever, visible to the people. Same concept is applied by beggars. They will go to a place only where they are people. They will not go to somewhere on the road and say, because they know that's on the market. Okay, so the basic policy is only if you see it can be sold. This is this is not the not for IT background, right? This is for the retail guys that I'm telling you. This is the fundamental, okay? And uh, um, and there is a saying that you know, if your product is really good, people will come and search it. Yes. People will come and search you only if your product is sold at say very, very highly value for money kind. For example, now an average meal you go is about say 45 rupees a vegetarian meal is about 30 40 rupees. So there is a place behind this somewhere where you get for 20 rupees then it is worth going. If you say this quality is really good and they are charging 40 rupees, you don't go. That's the that's the psychology of people. Yeah. Okay, this is also you learn. So if you have to sell your product at Reasonable uh, margin, reasonable value of money, always keep it in the place where people can see. If you don't see, nobody will buy. Logic is very simple. Okay, so that ended up in a disaster. 
there's my new concept here. It's called uh, Freedom Kitchen. Okay, there was this uh, entrepreneur seminar that the last year that I am, I was attending that, and you know, on our conversation, we came to know about the you know, concept called uh, ready to eat curries. So, <coughs> ready to eat curries is nothing but uh, uh, we use the technologies like glass freezing where you make a curry and uh, it's, it's piping hot and it's immediately put into a lot of containers and then you have a seed and you freeze it immediately from, from say about 40 degrees heat it will go to minus 40 in say 2 hours time inside the packed container so the advantage here is there is no bacterial contamination and uh, whatever you are having is good food so that comes in place and I started researching on them and so on and so forth. So initially what I learned is you have to go get the feel of the business. And it's, it's, a, it's a common fact. And if you have to learn about a business, either you do pay somebody else's business that you can just you can start on your own and understand what it is and just do on your own. So we were we thought of going to Bangalore and opening a store of frozen food. All frozen foods in one small store. So whatever you want is available, just come pick it and go. It, uh, it didn't work because uh, people in India and China also was not, uh, they were also not very keen, you know, in buying for them. So, that's where uh, my brand is Freedom Kitchen. The name, the name of my brand is called uh, Freedom Kitchen. Okay. Uh, so Brands like Palkabir and Mateo. These are brands which are proven to The Bangalore project failed. Then we thought of designing a logo for our company for our top freedom vision. That's how it started. Okay, so we, the name was uh, Freedom. And uh, then we, have, we started analyzing what does freedom mean to you. Okay. And uh, so uh, we went on exploring the word freedom. Then uh, freedom means it's about happiness, it's about celebration. Then celebration, then what you do when you celebrate? You dance. Okay. And then uh, what you do when you dance? You forget everything else. Okay. So now we have to connect this concept to food. So the obvious thing is to take a fork and a spoon. And uh, we do exactly that. And then we put the fork as the way for the obvious reason for this point. And then the uh, Based on the uh, salsa dance concept, where the, uh, the, uh, the energy levels are higher, the, 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 the idea of dancing, you, know, you just forget. That's where that salsa does feel. So, we based on that, we did this thing there. Finally, we put the bell upside down. Finally, <laughs> finally, finally, we uh, came up with this uh, concept. We put it in a plate. Okay. So, now uh, it is looking okay. Now, the dance has, you know, you have to smile, like uh, he said, um, so we put a smile on the spoon. And uh, then finally, we uh, have friends, it's pretty much. Okay, now again, we have a problem because it's too wide. So if it's too wide, uh, it's going okay. to be difficult to adapt to the uh, So we redid it and then this is the final year. So from now on, uh, I my company will be known as Freedom Kitchen by Heavy Cakers. You will soon, soon see it on the papers soon. Okay, now, as now, what I'm doing is uh, Freedom Kitchen. Uh, we are